the world's most complex and fragile ecosystems have been a potential source of medicines, energy, and chemical tools for millennia. But modern scientists are seeking more from nature's treasure chest. It's called bioprospecting. Costa Rica is one place where bioprospectors are looking for clues they hope will lead to new discoveries. This is an example of something of interest. Termites and insect larvae clearly break wood cellulose down into sugars. By isolating the enzymes, we might develop new biofuels. In 1990, INBIO, Costa Rica's National Biodiversity Institute, signed a pioneering contract with pharmaceutical giant Merck. The drug industry has been profiting from the world's rainforests for years, but this deal was different. Costa Rica was the first country to win recognition of its rights to benefit from its biological resources, and it became a model for the UN Convention on Biological Diversity. Expectations were sky high after the first Earth Summit. Environmentalists believe that profits from a big drug discovery would allow the world to buy its way out of the problem of habitat destruction. But resistance arose from various quarters, and since then, the Biodiversity Treaty remains unratified by the U.S. Senate. Climate change skeptics, along with private property advocates, have led the charge against the treaty in the U.S. If you look at the Biological Diversity Convention, it's really designed to get people off the land, uh, get rid of the roads, get rid of the towns, and get rid of all the transportation corridors, the transmission corridors, the pipelines, and say, this is we're giving this back to nature. Elsewhere, bureaucratic infighting and distrust among nationalist and indigenous groups have made negotiations with outside companies almost impossible. So Costa Rica's INBIO remains unique in the world. It's ignorance. The problems that other countries have encountering in, in trying to implement bio, biodiversity prospecting is largely due to the, their, their lack of scientific and technological capacity. Still, Costa Rica can boast of two commercial stomach medicines that originated from its rainforest and were isolated by INBIO's laboratories. Proof of the potential for bioprospecting and for monetary value as a means of saving the world's ecosystems. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.